We had another great trip over the water to Tokyo's Narita Airport on Delta Airlines, another great Alaska Airlines code share partner. Now, before I talk about the trip over, which was awesome, I want to talk about your presence here at Narita. This is really impressive. Oh, thank you. Thanks, John. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a very, very big uh, operation for us. In fact, it's a, a full-blown a full hub for Delta. We have over 300 flights a week. We serve it uh, to eight different destinations in the U.S., but we also serve Asian gateways. We have over 1,000 employees, and of those 1,000 employees, we've got 18 chefs. Now that's interesting. Talk about yeah. that, because that's something very unique to Delta. That is. In fact, it's not just unique to Delta, but it's unique in Japan as well, because we're the only international airline that owns its own kitchen here. We prepare all our meals. We prepare over 12,000 meals. In fact, on your way back, you've got to try a Japanese meal. It's I will fantastic. try them. The, the meal service was incredible. In fact, the, the whole flight experience, let's talk about that, because sure. the in-flight experience is so nice. Your, your planes are brand new. Okay. Your service levels are exceptional, and your Thank food, you. and your in-flight entertainment. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, we're, we're very, very proud of it. So we've got a, an incredibly extensive network to Asia Pacific, including some of the recent ads we've had out of Seattle. In particular, we've got the Seattle Haneda flight. Uh, to go along with the Seattle flight to Shanghai. We want to make sure our customers sit in the most comfortable seat. And you'll know that every single long haul flight that Delta has in the Pacific is on a flatbed in business class. We've spent a lot of time training our flight attendants to be much more culturally sensitive. Um, so this is an area that we take great pride in. So as you grow your markets, your infrastructure is growing beneath you. Right. Talk about that. Absolutely. Our infrastructure is going, growing beneath us because uh, what we want to do is be able to offer not just a good experience in the air, but we want to make sure that the experience on the ground uh, as well as pre-flight experience all goes well. So we're investing a lot in airport infrastructure. Uh, we're uh, investing a lot in sky clubs. In fact, we're like standing this. here. That's Check right. out the view, all the planes right. out there. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it is. And, and we expect that the investments we continue to make in Seattle in particular, in terms of improved gating infrastructure, improved sky clubs, are all going to be up and, and running very soon. And, and in fact, some of them our customers should be experiencing today. Well, as a traveler, I'm excited to see where Delta's going next. You guys are definitely getting it right. So, arigato. Thanks for, thanks for partnering with us. Pleasure. Thank you, John.